In this video, we learn about the definition of a sequence. We see what is a sequence in real analysis and this will be the foundation of advanced concept in analysis are based on this concept of sequence. A sequence on any non-empty set, suppose you have a non-empty set and you want to define a sequence on that set, then this is a function from the set of natural number to that set. So basically if you have a set x, say x, and you want to make a sequence from the elements of x. So x1, x2, x3 and so on. So this is what? This is basically a function from the set of natural numbers to x. And any such function is called a sequence. If the set happens to be real number x, then we call it a real sequence. If the set is rational number, we call a rational sequence. If the set is complex number, we call it a complex sequence. And in general, there are can be any set. Suppose if you consider the set of your class, then the raw numbers are actually a sequence. But in this course, we usually talk about the real sequence. So we consider the set x equal to r. Now let's see some example of sequence. There can be many sequence. For example, if you take a very simple sequence, then you can take a constant sequence. Just take same element each time. This sequence is very simple and it is a constant sequence. Another sequence is you can take the set of natural number itself. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is a very good sequence. Since this is a function, you can define sequence like a formula, like 1 by n. For n equal to 1, when we put 1 in this, we get 1 by 1, that is 1. If we put 2 here, we will get 1 by 2. If we put n equal to 3 here, we get 1 by 3, 1 by 4, and so on. Another sequence is xn equal to minus 1 to the power n. And this sequence has a unique property that it will oscillate minus 1 when you take first n equal to 1 it will be minus 1 when we take 2 n equal to 2 we get 1 and each time we get an odd power we will get minus 1 and when we get even power we will get 1 another example of a sequence is geometric sequence and this is simply can take a number and take its power for example if you take 2 then the sequence will be 2, 2 square, 2 cube and so on. And such kind of sequence are called geometric sequence. Now let's see how we can visualize sequence. Like I have chosen two examples here. One is 1 by n and another is minus 1 to the power n. So there are two ways in which you can visualize sequence. Suppose you have a real line and you have seen such lines from your matriculation classes. And here we have infinity, here we have minus infinity, somewhere we have 0 and somewhere we have 1. So if you take n equal to 1, this will be 1. If you take n equal to 2, it will be half. If you take n equal to 3, it will be somewhere 1 by 3, 1 by 4. And you can see that this will go towards 0. So one way to visualize sequence is to plot each point on the real line and you will get some idea about how this sequence looks. If we do the same thing with minus 1 to the power n, then the sequence will look like here we have minus 1, here we have 1, here somewhere we have 0, and the sequence will start with minus 1, 1, again minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1. So basically it, it will oscillate from this point to this point. Since f is a function from n to r there is one more way we can visualize this sequence and the way is how we can visualize a function we basically plot n in one dimension so we have 1 2 3 4 5 and so on and we have re real number on another direction that is the image of sequence so we can visualize the elements as points so if you put one we get one so we will write suppose this is one then this is one for n equal to two it is half so somewhere this is half for n equal to three it is one by three so one by three one by four 
1 by 5 and you can see that this sequence is going like this and this is another way to visualize such sequence and we can see that this part basically resembles with this part that is the range of this function so we do the same thing with the second sequence as well when we visualize this we can see that this is one two three four and dot 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 and for one it is minus one and for two it is one and you can see that the sequence actually oscillates this will go from here to here again here again here and here and this will go on forever like this in this way we can visualize sequences and this is very important in basic analysis that you visualize many things you should have ability to visualize and you must practice how we can represent many concept in analysis basic analysis in geometry for this will help you to understand important concepts later if you do such work to plot such such sequences and the more you do such kind of practice better your analysis will be